I'm on my uh, Ancestry.com and I wanted to show you guys my connections to America, which they're trying to minimize through uh, Ancestry because, you know, every once in a while they update your connections because they don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. However, I'm going to show you where they say I'm from. These are the places that I match with in America, right? The places that are in blue. You see? All those places in Mexico. I'm, in it, I'm from everywhere in Mexico. You see where it says Baja Peninsula of the South, uh, Southern California states? I have three regions. Now, where it says no connections, that doesn't mean I don't have a connection to the area. It just means I don't have anybody that's in my um, relative list that has taken a test that matches with this area. But you see where it says the regions right there? Those are the regions that I match with in Mexico. You see? I'm from all over Mexico. Every single inch of Mexico, my blood is there, including parts of North America. So you see these three different spots? I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's the Central Mexico. Guerrero, Moreros, Veracruz, Oxcado, Tabasco. Shit, there's Tabasco, uh, Mexico. St. Louis, uh, Southern Guadalajara, Northeastern Michi Michoacan. All these places, and that's just central. That's This is just central that they're showing me. You see this? This is just central. Let's go back. Now, uh, let's go to the Chihuahua, Durango, and Zacatas. I matched with seven different places there. You see that? That's Mexico. You see that? Durango, Zacatas, um, ancestry they don't want to know what the fuck i think because they keep on fucking with people's ancestry because they don't want anybody to be from america then we'd have to take our damn land back you feel me they want me to be from damn africa so they could be like oh you're african but they don't have no matches with me for nobody from africa okay but i know my people in texas because i know the name of my ancestors okay my great great grandfather's name is john cortez and he has a brother. I can even show you the pictures because I found it. But we're gonna we gonna keep on going. Uh just just to you know show y'all all the different parts of Mexico that I'm from. And once again, the no connection just means no connection to somebody who actually took the test. So we're gonna go back. And this is the Native American blood. These people um, uh and this is the Aztec and Mayan DNA. So I got four places in New Mexico that I'm from in South Southern Colorado. You see that? This is where my DNA is from. Get the hell up out of here, the ancestry. You don't want to know what the hell I think right now. It's not like the way you got this shit. Um, you see Central, Southern New Mexico, uh, Central and Southern New Mexico, North New Mexico, Northern New Mexico, and Colorado. I'm I match with all of those places. Then let's keep on going. You see, it's blue. Those are the places that I match with. I got 10 areas in eastern Mexico that I match with. 10 areas. Only Lagos de Chapala, uh, Mexico. I don't even know how to pronounce this. That's why I haven't been able to really explain it because I don't know. Even, I don't speak Spanish. But obviously, I am Hispanic. And it's coming out in my DNA. And you can obviously tell. Now I know why everywhere I go, I have my Mexican brother speaking Spanish to me. And I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying. But they're like, why not? You're clearly from where I'm from. Specifically Mexicans. So I just wanted to put this out here in the streets. I also have uh, matches with Ecuador, Chile, Peru, Chile. You feel me? Nicaragua, Costa Rica. Nueva de Leon, de Leon, I don't even know how to pronounce this stuff, but it's in Southern Texas. I don't even know. You guys see all of those places, right? This is all the places that I match with in America. Now, let me go over into this um, the DNA because I, I want to kind of go into the ancestry stuff and how they've been kind of like mis misappropriating where the hell people's from by... Um, making it seem like they're from a different region when they're really not. Uh, let me show you. See this yellow and this orange right here? Let me view it. So this is 23andMe. The last one was in Ancestry. And I have Ancestry.com because I'm flipping from, you know, one tab to the other. But I want you guys to know that I have researched this. You see? 
There goes the DNA. Look at all the places in the world I'm from. Now, Ancestry didn't even list these damn places. They didn't put um, Russia and stuff on there, but clearly I match with Russia. And not only do I match with Russia, I match with ancient Russians that are over 45,000 years old. And this is a fact, and I'm going to show you guys that. I'm probably showing you on another video. But you see how they try to say West African, Nigerian, all this shit? This is shit made up shit. Do you understand? What they're talking about is really, I'm going to show you. What they're really talking about is, I'm back into Ancestry.com. This is what they're talking about that they don't want to, they don't want to mention. You see right here? See how they got the African lit up and they have early of Virginia African Americans well that is the native the so-called black Native Americans the woodland Indians Native Americans from West Virginia they're calling them fucking Africans and they're not and that's a fact you see how they have me on all these different places here then I go over here to ancestors they got me at whole different places in Africa all this shit is an estimate but we're gonna take it down to the real deal so you guys can see that I'm not bullshit. Now these are all the Native American matches, right? Which include Asia. So I have Bengali blood in me and I'm gonna show you my wee gene so you guys can know why I'm saying this. I have Bengali in me, which is coming up in the Eastern, you see right there, South, uh, Chinese and Southeast Asia, that's the Bengali. Then I have some Thai, man, 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 I ain't never even know this, this is a new, and then they have the uh, Native American, see 1.2%. Well, that 1.2% that they're trying to act like ain't shit is every damn thing. You see that? See, from 1800, which that's not that many generations for me, okay? Because my great-grandmother was born in 1886. So we're talking about 1800. This is what I have in my DNA. French and German, Spanish and Portuguese, uh, Scandinavian. What is that? Oh, Native American, right there. And this is from 1830. That means my great, my grandmother, my great grandmother were Mexican, Spanish, French, and everything in between. But I know they were living in uh, Texas. And I can show you the pictures. It's kind of clear to see once you look at it. But you bastards want to misclassify people as being African. Now look. So these are the African DNA that they say I have. You feel me? Ooh, they say I got Sudanese. I've never seen that before. This is new. And this is the Thai. This is the African hunter-gatherer. This is the East African. So I knew I had East African, but it never really showed up on a report. But this is from 1800. So this is the newer so-called DNA, right? And what the, this is their estimate. This is, that's where you see the Nigerian, the Gambian, the Senegalese, the Congolese, and more British and Irish. So that's from 1920 which my dad was born in 1933. So we're talking about one generation from me. So that means one of my grandparents, you feel me, was that, that nationality. That doesn't mean that's my whole nationality. You understand? They're only showing you where your people were at a particular time, period of time. So my people, not even a hundred years ago, were not even in, they weren't in Africa. You feel me? They were here in America. And because somebody in my uh, relative, my background was from Nigeria and Gambia, or I don't even really know, because like I said, these don't, when you do these tests, and please believe Africans have done these tests, they'll let you see if you're from parts of Africa. None of it matches up. They purposely misclassify people that they list as being so-called Native American. Now it has my dad being European, that's only because I can't check my dad's DNA because, um, uh, because I don't have his DNA. I don't have his um, Y DNA. But I just wanted to show you guys my DNA results. And this is from 23andMe. You see what year, okay? These are the years. And you saw back at the, the um, this is Virginia, right? These are, uh, these are Native Americans, they're not Africans. You understand what I'm saying to you? This is how people are getting messed up in their understanding of what nationality they are. And then you have the Mississippi, so-called Africa. Look what lights up. Those are Americans. So why is the Africa area lighting up when it's over here in Mississippi? 
those are Africans, those are so-called black Americans, and this is how they steal our ancestry from us. They're trying to say that we came from Africa. There's Africans that were here right in America, so-called people with African-ish DNA, whatever way they want to put it. See, all of these are African DNAs. This right here, the early a Virginia African Americans, what they're talking about is Native Americans. The curly hair, copper colored people of North America. And I match with this. Look, Eastern Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana. We already know what that is. That's coming from my, my Mexican DNA. Do you understand? They're lying on these tests because they know anybody who has so called African American DNA, they want them to be from somewhere else because somebody has darker skin. You understand? And I'm darker than everybody in my family. So I just wanted to put that out there for you guys so you understand. And I'm going to keep on sharing my DNA because as you guys saw from what I posted on, um, from my, um, we're related, I went and posted some stuff. So I'm going to kind of show you because this is only in an app. So I'm going to show you as much as I can on this app really quick. See, these are my cousins. You see this? Look at Edward Cooper. All these people are my cousins. Lucille Bell. Lucille Ball. Sorry, excuse me. Reese Witherspoon. All of these are cousins of mine. John Hopkins. I can keep on going. Brad Paisley. I don't even know who these people are. I think he's a country singer. He's cute too. LeBron James is my cousin. Do you see? You see this? Michelle Obama is my ninth cousin. We're cousins. And we're all from the same part. Alec Haley. I'm related to him. He's a sixth cousin. Stephen Harper. I don't have no picture up there. I don't even know who he is. Betty White with her crazy self. She's my cousin. And she kind of looks like family. Uh, what's her name? Judy Garland. My cousin. You see this? Mike Huckabee. He is the governor of Arkansas. He's my cousin. That's when my dad was born. Alan Turing. I mean, I could keep on going. Jack London. These are my cousins. John Wayne. Oh, I didn't know I was related to John Wayne. He's the ninth cousin of mine. Paul Bear Bryant. I don't even know who these people are, but they related to me. Robin Williams, my cousin. Ben Hogan, my cousin. Mitchell McConnell, my cousin. Ron Howard, my cousin. John Hutchison, my cousin. Jimi Hendrix. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Oh my God, I didn't know I was Hendrix's cousin. Ah, Elvis, I'm fucking Elvis's cousin. See, I haven't looked at this in a while. And it's updated when people, other people update their, their um, wow, you guys, I didn't know I was related to Elvis. Brad Pitt is my cousin. What's your fine ass, Brad? Go ahead. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Cab Calloway. John Edwards. Who is he? He's a senator. Okay. Sir Walter Scott. He was a baronet. Lorenz Kibler. He's actually a friend of my Facebook. Stevie Ray Vaughan. He's a country singer. His birthday is the day after mine. He's my cousin. Qu John Quincy Adams. He's a president. And you guys already see I'm related to Abraham Lincoln. I'm related to uh, George Washington. I'm related to Franklin Roosevelt. I'm related to all these people. Emily Dickinson. You think it's, it's a coincidence that I was raised by a federal agent? Do you think it's a coincidence? Harry Truman, president, my cousin. Helen Bola Carter, hi hey, baby. She's an actress, my cousin. Les Brown, my cousin. Robert E. Lee, which is a general that everybody claims is so racist or whatever, my cousin. And Janice Joplin, yeah, I don't know. Janice jo Joplin is my cousin. Matt Longer, Liker, Paulette Guarded. I mean, it's so many. Benjamin Franklin. Damn, I didn't know that. Where's he? It's supposed to be six cousins. That's pretty close. Such and such times removed, but of course it's going to be removed when he was born that hundreds of years ago. Stevie Nicks, my cousin. Damn. Paris Hilton is my cousin. Shut the hell up. She my nice cousin. Hey, Booski. Eli Manning, my cousin. What does it say he is? Tenth cousin. Damn, I've never seen a tenth cousin. Kenny Rogers is my cousin. Damn. James Madison, a president, is my cousin. 
I got a bunch of presents. Maria Shriver is my cousin. Hey, Maria, baby. Andrew Luck, he's a football player, my cousin. Margaret Atwood, let's see her. She's a Canadian poet, okay. Jimmy Hen Jim Henson, oh, he's the one that did the Muffets. He's my cousin, Ace cousin. He's closer to me. Thomas Edison is my cousin. This is crazy. Wow, I haven't looked at this in almost a year. Jack Daniel, damn, I'm related to Jack Daniel. Y'all know what I like the whiskey. Tom Hiddleston, Hiddleston, Shania Tain, Twain. Damn, I'm related to everybody, y'all. E.E. E. Cummings. I knew I was coming. I didn't even know. Dolly Parton is my 10th cousin. Hey, Booski. No wonder my titties used to be so big. Let me stop. And Johnny Cash is my cousin. So I'm not going to. Uh, Blake Sheldon. Oh, okay. Let me find out. I'm going to get on American Idol. Hey, boo. Or whatever show he's on. Megan Trainer, hi, she's my ninth cousin. I think she's a she's a singer, songwriter, and producer. Okay, George Patton, seventh cousin. Ella Fleming, oh, she's an actress. James Dean, okay, no wonder I got some swagger. Jake, oh, I know him. He's an actor. He's my cousin, ninth cousin. All these people are related to me. Look, George W. Bush. He just passed away. I knew he was my damn cousin. I grew up with pictures of him and my dad shaking hands and at the White House. My father, he's my cousin. That's amazing. Harry Reid is my cousin. What does Harry Reid do? American politician. He was born December 2nd. Winston Churchill, seventh cousin. Johnny Depp is my cousin. Shut up, eighth cousin. Matt Damon is my cousin. Good Lord, I'm related to everybody famous. Britney Spears is my cousin. Shut up. This is crazy. Eminem is my cousin. Shut up, Marshall Mathers. How can I be in love with you and you're my fucking cousin? Kissing cousin, oh shit. He's born October 17th. Oh my gosh. I didn't know you was in October, baby. Marshall Brooke Mathers. You can't be my husband and my cousin at the same time, my love. Or can you? We could be kissing cousins. Fuck it. I boo. <laughs> oh, shit. This is crazy. Elon Musk is my cousin. He's 10th cousin. Let me see where Eminem is. He's my ninth cousin one time in a row. That's crazy. No wonder I love him so much. Ursula, and I know her from Facebook, but she uh, kind of has a story like me and we're cousins. Tim's cousins, and she's related to me through the Strickland side. Hugh Hefner, damn. I'm Hugh Hefner's cousin. Damn. Calvin Coldridge. This is crazy. John Adams, third cousin. John Adams is my third cousin three times removed. That's close. He's born October 30th. Let's see. It says the common ancestor is Patricia Mullins. Damn. You found me three people away from me. That's wicked. Okay, let me go back. And it shows the lineage. Who is this? Colin Powell. I'm related to Colin Powell. Damn, this is crazy. Mickey Mantle, Julia Child, Halle Berry is my cousin, ninth cousin. Tom Hanks is my cousin. Hey, Tom. No wonder your son got some chocolate. Chance Crawford is my cousin. He's an actor. Jimmy Carter. Oh my God. Are you talking about the president? Oh my goodness. The 39th president is my cousin. Peyton Manning is my cousin. Hey, boo. John McKay. Hey, John. Oh, he just died. Yeah. Oh, he had brain cancer. Hey, John. Kevin Bacon. Not six degrees of separation, baby. You mine. Seventh cousin. Three times removed. You close, boo. Okay. Mark Twain is my cousin. He old as hell. When's he born? 1835. John Kerry is my cousin. Shut up. I saw John Kerry. Now, I'm going to tell you this story about John Kerry because it's funny. I was walking down the street in Seattle maybe like a year and a half ago. And I have my big ass afro. I have some bell bottom red pants on. And I'm walking down the street and all of a sudden, um, somebody like these, it was a woman and a man. And she had a black skirt on and she just looked professional and demanded too. And they came and they blocked off the sidewalk. So I'm walking downtown. Maybe I think it was like third Avenue. I can't remember exactly where I was when it was a minute ago. And all of a sudden this black limo 
truck or thing pulls up next to me, right? And they had they basically made everybody stop walking. And I'm like, ooh, who's about to get out the car? You know, I'm like, okay. So I'm standing there looking, and guess who jumps out the car? John Kerry. He looked me dead in my face. He probably know I'm his damn cousin. Because at the time, I had sent him my birth certificate for it to get um, authenticated because he was the Secretary of State, I think. This is when Obama was in office. He was born December 11th. Hey, book. That's my cousin, Kate Upton. Damn. Carrie Underwood. Damn. I'm related to all these people. Carrie Fisher. Sex in the City, baby. Marilyn Monroe is my ninth cousin. Wow. W.C. Fields. This is crazy. Miley Cyrus is my cousin. No way to be Bill Clinton is my cousin. Damn, I'm related to Bill Clinton. I know I'm related to Obama. Michael Jackson. Shut up. Now, this one is a trip. Michael Jackson is my ninth cousin. You guys, I'm tripping right now. This is crazy. I can't even believe this shit. Barack Obama. There you go. I told you I was Barack Obama's cousin. So I'm Michelle's cousin and Barack Obama's cousin. Do you hear me? Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Why are they messing with me? Something went wrong. Okay, guess we're going to stop at Obama. Now, why am I getting attacked by this damn government? I got all these people that are part of the founding fathers of America and my, my bloodline. My father, my stepfather, and my real father served in the military, to, uh, served to protect this goddamn country, and I'm going through this bullshit. Like I said, I am going to go to Trump since he's the president. I ain't got a fucking problem with Trump because he hasn't done anything to me. And I'm going to fucking petition for his ass to hang these motherfucking monkey ass public servants who are doing a disservice to America. And like I said, you can see from my DNA, I am from this motherfucker. Not only am I from here, I'm from everywhere. Because you didn't even get, I didn't even get to the European DNA. I'm from everywhere in Europe, but you can see British, Irish, French, German, Spanish, Portuguese. We're going to slip it back around just so y'all see. The, everything in blue is different versions of, of uh, European. So Scandinavian, Spanish, Portuguese, French, German. And the Spanish is definitely from um, the Moorish people because the haplogroup L3 is a Moorish haplogroup, which happens to also be the mitochondrial E. So the haplogroup that I come from is the haplogroup that created all every other race besides so-called African. So you got haplogroup L1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, right? Well, haplogroup L1 and 2 are African. Like, they're, like, you know, strictly African. And I don't know, you know, about their descendants because I haven't looked it up. But I know for sure that the L3 haplogroup, specifically the one I come out, specifically the breakdown of mine, is the minor contra E. That means every nationality of the world came out of the same blood that made me. And I'm over, my blood is over 180,000 years old. That's why I said, I don't got time to be prejudiced with you dumbass bastards. I'm not gonna be prejudiced against my own bloodline. That's how you get cursed. And you can call it what you want to. But my family weren't slaves. You understand what I'm saying to you? That means they were interracial dating. So when people say, oh, you got European DNA, they always want to say, oh, somebody raped somebody. Nobody raped nobody. I actually know my ancestors. Like, they were they were told who they were. They got married. They weren't being raped and all this extra bullshit that's being perpetrated through America and I'm making all these people feel sorry for themselves. So I just wanted to put that out there. I love y'all, um, and I'm going to keep on posting.